Welcome to Plymouth Blackhawks number two, 2017. And my bike won't start. The uh, the series of bad starts continues. But hey, I look up here, right in front of me. That guy right in front of me now. That's actually the guy who is in uh, third in the points or second in the points. And uh, yeah, I figured, yeah, he got a bad start, I got a bad start. We both got to work our way up through the pack here, and uh, at least I'm not alone. So, yeah, here I am, starting out near dead last, trying to work my way forward as good as I can because I'm sloppy and, whoa, spinning out all over the place. It's muddy. Oh, man. And up there, actually, on the Suzuki, in the, uh, like, the white jersey with the, uh, yellow on the back of his helmet. Or maybe his helmet's yellow. I'm not sure. That's Alan. And Alan's pretty fast, too. Like, we, we go back and forth. And you'll see in this race, we go back and forth quite a bit. Kind of, uh, jockeying for position, I guess. Um, right here at the beginning, the, uh, the trails, it's not real tight. I wouldn't call it that, but it's, it's sloppy. It's slick for sure. And it's hard to get any grip to be able to pass anybody. So right here around this corner, there's this little, uh, bridge and everybody takes the safe route around to the left. I'm like, screw it. I'm going through the, uh, through the mud. Oh, Alan gets me soaked. Muds up the camera a little bit. I think it was actually the leave that mudded up the camera. But uh, he, he splashed me pretty good when he went through that. But just remember that because <laughs> I'll get him back. It's right here. Oh, I get around him. Feather that clutch a little bit and get going. Um, I ran into a lot of problems in this race. Right now, I think my clutch is just about fried. I was having a lot of trouble with the clutch slipping through the race. Um, let's see, what else? Whoa, I get forced off the track here a little bit. I'm trying to find my way back on and Alan gets around me. But the camera gets cleaned up a little bit. Another problem that I had was my front brake was actually dragging. Like, I, the, the bike felt kind of funny and the front brake was dragging a little bit. And in this sand, that made things incredibly hard. And anytime I would reach down and actually try to use the front brake, like you would barely tap it and it felt like it was going to lock all the way up. I don't know what was doing that, what caused it. It's never done that before, but it was doing that during this race. So I pretty much had to go off of just my back brakes. And if I was going to use the front, just, I don't know, try to barely touch it. Otherwise, I was going to be wiping out. This race, it, it had rained like the days ahead of time. And I heard they got like three inches of rain. But surprisingly, and I mean, I guess it shouldn't be so surprising because this cor it, this place is mostly sand. But the soil handled it really, really well. I mean, the, it really wasn't as muddy as I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to get around this guy. And it's not always that easy to pass somebody who doesn't want to be passed. This little section right here was always fun. Yeah, I don't know. I was planning on riding the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Jack Pine Enduro this weekend. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I've got a clutch to rebuild and I just don't think I'm going to have time to, to get that done in time for the Enduro. But I do think I'll have time to get it done in time for the uh, Battle Creek race. So that's good. I guess I could always like borrow a bike. My dad's got a 250 almost exactly like mine. It's one year newer. So I could probably borrow that if I had to. 
All right, here we go. Get by him. Everybody else, when they were being careful in the mud, seemed to be when I could get around them or when I could get past. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Who, who do I got ahead of me? I'm, I tried to, like, flip through here and show, like, okay, I caught this person, I caught this person. And just, you know, different guys I know from this series, you know, throw them in the video, talk about them a little bit. I think I'm probably catching back up to Alan here. I'm not sure. I know I was, I was trying to get caught back up because some of those guys had got away from me a little bit. I can see somebody up there. Yep, that's him again, I think. Right? No, that's a blue bike. Who is that? I don't know who that is. That's just somebody else I'm catching and having to work my way through. Here, I, I yelled inside right there. When, when I'm passing somebody, you know, you're coming from behind them. They don't exactly know which side you're going to be on. So I tried to let them know, you know, like inside or outside, which part of the corner I'm planning on taking so that they can preferably not crash into me. Now, before this race, I was feeling pretty good. Um, I've been working out relatively hard oh here we go I caught back up to the pack and there's Alan he's in with them again and you know I was working out pretty hard getting myself in relatively good shape and I did I came out and I felt great I want to say through every single lap on this race I felt pretty good so for the two hour good the problem is this race went over two hours for me and the last lap was pretty rough Alright, so here we go. I've got not only him, but there's like, what, one, two, three, four, like five people in front of him. So we're working our way through, and look, look at who's that up ahead. That's Tyson. Uh, Tyson's a family member of mine. He was riding the, uh, he was riding the team lights with my brother-in-law and their brothers, and, uh, yeah, so he's in the team lights. Oh, there's uh, another Owasso boy here giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> but yeah, Tyson, he, he had a little trouble out here on the first lap. His goggles got all mudded up, and he tried taking his goggles off, and his glasses came off with his goggles and fell out onto the trail, and I don't know if they got ran over or what, but they got broke. And he's blowing through the corner here because he can't see. He can't see without his glasses, so he was pretty much just screwed. Like, there, there wasn't much he could do. Come through a first lap, and I am in ninth place. From here on, I don't remember what place I was in. I don't even remember. Oh, there's Alan again. Caught back up to him again. He and I, I want to say for these first two or three laps, just kept going back and forth, which is good because he's usually pretty fast like he, he does pretty well and I've been doing better this year and I think he's a little you know he's a little faster than me but it's something to shoot for these guys that are usually finishing a little bit ahead of you you know try to uh, keep up with them or get ahead of them or whatever you know so here again he takes a safe route and I go around to the outside but this time I'm a little ahead of him boom oh you can just see his front wheel right there I just plastered him <laughs> Oh, and I get a couple people. <laughs> he let me know after the race. He's like, yeah, I was trying to find a spot to, you know, give you a little payback, but I couldn't find one. Actually, that was payback that I was giving you from earlier right there. <laughs> so he got back around me again, and here I am chasing him once again. And that's a lot of fun. I like getting to know the guys in the series because you know you, you're racing against each other and you're like oh yeah that's him you know and you go back and forth and I don't know just jockeying for position with guys in your class that's that's what's fun to me and that's what it's all about I'm glad I'm finally fast enough to be able to do that somewhat now oh 
Oh, shoot. Hello, Joe. <laughs> it's Joe McNeil. It looks like the fast guys are catching us. Uh, I heard him behind me, and I went out to give him some room. And I think what happened is I got out in the loose stuff and kind of drifted back in on him. We tapped handlebars and went down. <laughs> it happens. I, I burned my leg on my pipe a little bit, my knee. Got a few marks on there today, but no worries. I worked for like 10 years as a welder, so burns don't really bother me all that much. Um, this area right through here was sketchy as can be. Like, I always felt uncomfortable going through here. Goggles, goggles. So I pull up, and Tyson, he's done for the day because he's got, he doesn't chair. have any glasses and he can't see. So I toss my goggles there. Oh, my glasses, I'm done. I lost them. Throw on a new pair of goggles, and then Cal gets by me. Oh, and here's another thing that wasn't working. My recluse wasn't working because the clutch is going. I'm hoping it's not my recluse that's actually going. Oh, here I get by Cal again. caught back up to him but yeah with a fresh pair of goggles you know I, I can get going again and uh, yeah the, the clutch was acting up the recluse was acting up front brake was dragging um, what else there was a couple a bunch of different things that I was having issues with the bike come through do another lap I don't even remember what lap this is I don't know what place I was in I just kept on going here and I think by this point I just took my glasses or my goggles off oh this guy's stuck now I look up here to the left not right here right here up to the left and there's uh David Brown strange he's wearing the uh wearing that he's riding the the 500 the CR 500 he's the guy that was plastering me with mud last time so I get by him and I'm thinking, yo, this is awesome. Like I'm gaining positions here. I'm doing all right. I keep moving forward. And uh, David's another guy that has been finishing just a little bit in front of me. So I hear, oh man, I just let him by. I heard somebody behind me and I let him by. I get going here. Oh, I was gonna try to stay up with him and get past him again, but then I lost the front end. And there goes Cal again. So I go out here on this little trail, and I'm not wanting to cheat, you know. I'm not wanting to get a shortcut or anything. So I'm looking through the woods here, trying to find my way back onto the trail as soon as possible. Get back on. And you come up through the woods here, and you can hear people revving and stuff. There's a mud hole. I'm like, all right, I, I, I did this almost every lap. I let at least one guy pass me, okay? And then I look up ahead and I watch him. All right, you see where he just went through? He didn't appear to have too much trouble. He didn't get stuck. All right, so now I'm going to go through in the same exact spot that he just went through. <laughs> and that's my new technique for mud holes. Let one person pass me, watch them go through. Then follow them if they don't get stuck. So I'm catching up to Cal again. And uh, watching him, I, kind of, I found out that I need a lot of work on my corners in this sand, like the motocross stuff. Because I followed him around. I mean, this is like the second lap that I've been following him around now. Like, I'm not showing as much. But look, he goes way outside here. And I tried going on the inside and following, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, he, like, went way outside, and he was just as fast as me. He didn't have a rut or any loose dirt or anything. He was just in the grass. And he still was just as fast as I was. And actually, this was kind of a trend. Out here on this, like, grass track, more loose stuff. I wasn't as fast as everybody else. Like when I, when we got in the woods, I felt like I could keep up with people, but out here on that stuff, I I didn't have a chance. All right, there's one more lap down. 
And what is this? Is this like a six mile course? I think it was six miles. Oh, here we go. We got Pony down in front of us. Shout out to Pony. I went riding with him at Ever not too long ago. And I thought, well, I'll stay behind Pony for a little while. I figured this was the last lap. It's got to be, right? I mean, I'm, I'm starting to feel tired. And I look up ahead of him. And that guy's in the R class. So I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, I got to get a, ahead of that guy. Because that's a position right there. So I'm like, okay, now I need buy Pony pretty bad. So I start yelling, Pony, let me buy, Pony. Woo! All right, I'm by Pony. There's a guy in the R class right in front of me now. I could be lapping him, but he could be a guy that's in front of me. You don't know. So anyway, I get by him, and I figure I either just gained a position, or, you know, I lapped a guy. I'd rather gain the position, but... Whichever, if there's a guy with an R on the back of his helmet, I need to get by that guy. Head on up the trail here, and it's getting rough. Like, I'm trying to ride to the outsides, not necessarily on the trail, just stay kind of on the sides. White, you kidding me? You can't be white. <laughs> I get the white flag, and I'm like, you've got to be joking. There's no way. And I think when I went and checked the times at the end, and I looked, I think actually I was at two hours and one minute is what the time said. So actually, yeah, I think I was past my two hours. I don't think I was actually supposed to do this last lap, but I got the white flag. So I'm gonna keep going. And here I, I get all crazy in front of these people. I almost wipe out. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh man, so I decided on the last lap that I was just going to ride relatively slow and easy try not to crash because I'm exhausted and if anyone that's in my class in the R class gets past me that's when the race will be on so I'll just conserve energy and just keep chugging away nice and easy if somebody gets by me that's when I'm gonna race so anyway at the end I trophied I got a uh, sixth place I think I actually gained two positions on the last lap one from somebody giving up and the other from actually making a pass on somebody. So there we go. Sixth place. It's my uh, second best finish that I've ever had. Uh, it, was, it was a good race. I had a good time. I think I came in prepared. And uh, I'm feeling good about it. I'm happy. You could tell. See that smile? <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, this is Booster. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are interested in coming out and racing hair scrambles, Come out anytime. The people are great. The race is great. And I hope to see you guys there. Anyway, guys, this is Booster, and I'll catch you guys later.